<clears throat> I do hope that Tulsi, you know, runs again. And so first things first, the first story we're going to cover today is going to be this director of national intelligence situation. The Hunter Biden story has gotten real. It's, it, it, it is now getting real because the same thing that caused the whole Russiagate conspiracy to pop off, which is uh, like eventually the director of national intelligence said, well, maybe there's something. It's the same thing now that's like trying to nip it in the bud, which is the director of national intelligence stepping in and being like, no, 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 no. We're not playing this game again. Aaron Comer, thank you very much for the super chat. What's Tulsi gonna do job wise after her term? Well, Tulsi, I don't know. I, I mean, she has her, like I said, maybe she'll, I don't think she'll go active duty. I don't think she's gonna go active. If she go act, goes active duty, she's not gonna be able to stay on the West Coast. And I, I, I know that she's not gonna do that. Um, but she has jobs on, like she could get a job doing literally anything. <laughs> she Maybe she'll become an MMA fighter. I don't know, but they're fine. They're fine. Like they'll be okay. And and Abe does. Abe is like a professional cameraman. So he he's not like they, they, not that not like they're not gonna have any income whatsoever. So and I think she's uh I think that she's around the age of retirement for Congress anyway, at least partial retirement. So um before I get to that article, uh I'd like to ask you all if you wanna you wanna support the show, you can go to you can either click on the link tree link in the description, or you can. Use any of these QR codes for Patreon, Rockfin, or for Cash App. Um, if you are, I know some, a lot of you all watch on your iPad or on your TVs, so wanted to make it a little bit easier for you guys. But um, all of these, you just scan them and it'll go directly to the link. Uh, and of course, as you can see here, if you watch on your TV and you want to go ahead and endorse us on Rockfin or just follow us on Rockfin, we do post a lot of free content there as well. Um, you can just go ahead and scan that QR code with your phone, make life easy for you. So now you can watch me. If you want to go join the Rockfin chat whenever I'm on Rockfin and YouTube, you can go to, you you know, pull up the TV, bop, bop. You can be on your phone and you can watch us on YouTube. Right? All right. So. This damn story. Wow, shit. Let me pull this up. Hold up. Where my screen capture go? Uh, give me one second. Let me pull this up. But it, this story actually just broke, what, maybe an hour and a half ago? Unless I'm mistaken. And although we, so we, when we covered this story the other day, we were like, before we had even actually seen the breaking news, <laughs> we were like, oh man, they're probably going to blame this on Russia. And at the time, that was mostly a joke. It was mostly a joke at the time. Turned out, uh, the establishment is much more predictable than people thought. Much more predictable. Because as you can see here, this is reported in The Hill. It says here, the Director of National Intelligence, John Radcliffe, and House Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff uh, are publicly battling over the emails allegedly recovered from, allegedly, where the fuck, allegedly recovered from a laptop belonging to Hunter Biden accusing one another of politicizing intelligence. Well, bro, first of all, I mean, I don't know enough about uh, Daniel Radcliffe, so I can't make Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> uh, not Daniel Radcliffe, John Radcliffe, unless John Radcliffe has a cool magic wand. And if that's the case, then you need to let us know because that's something I would like to have. Uh, but in all seriousness, it's Adam Schiff, Adam Schiff, excuse me, is the Bro, he's a pain in the ass of every American. I like the way Pasta put it. Pasta said basically Adam Schiff is a failed actor who, who will play ball however he needs to to stay in power as long as he gets to stay at the front of the line and always has his face on, face on camera. 
some of you all may not know, but Adam Schiff was the one who was the, at the front of the line for the Iraq War too. <laughs> he was. He was at the front of the line for the Iraq War. He's at the front of the front of the line for Afghanistan. He's at the front of the line for Russia Gate. Like this is what this dude does. Adam Schiff should never have been the head of the House Intelligence Committee. But he's a propagandist. And at this moment, um, the Democrats are just, this is what they're doing. They're putting incompetent, failed Congress people who've never done a damn thing, putting them in front and propping them up as if, I mean, as if we should pay attention to them. When in actuality, Adam Schiff is an embarrassment. Remember, do y'all remember Ukraine Gate? Y'all remember Ukraine Gate, right? Where he did a whole speech and he pretended as if it was verbatim what was said in the transcript between Trump and President Zelensky of the Ukraine. And then he, he was like, and this is what it would sound like if Trump had threatened Zelensky. So in other words, none of that shit was true. He's a propagandist, that's what he does. So the article goes on to say, the two are battling over a controversial report published by the New York Post last week concerning a laptop and emails allegedly sent by Biden, the son of the Democratic presidential nominee, Joe Biden. I don't understand why they're allegedly. I don't, I'm still trying to understand where they get the allegedly from, but whatever. The story alleged that then Vice President Biden participated in a meeting with a top advisor to Burisma, a Ukrainian energy company where his son sat on the board at the time, prompting immediate attacks from President Trump and his allies. That Biden is corrupt, as it should, given that after a phone call with one president to another president, there, fought, there was an impeachment that immediately followed after they leaked the phone call. Once again, I may not like Donald Trump, but I do respect one head of state's autonomy to negotiate with the other head of state, especially when it's to investigate corrupt activities from both administrations, right? I, I, there's some things when you're trying to do the right thing, you should not have uh, like a hindrance like what we saw the Democrats do uh, at that point. And of course, this is because Biden was actually guilty of what they accused Trump of being guilty of in this particular scenario. Uh, goes on to say the shift in a Friday interview with CNN said the smear campaign against Biden and his ties to the Ukraine originated as part of a Russian disinformation plot more than a year ago. Pause. What did I just tell y'all? No, it wasn't a Russian disinformation plot. What it was is an investigation that started more than a year ago before Biden even announced, before he was even Joe Biden's opponent, or excuse me, before he was even Donald Trump's opponent, before he even entered the primary, there was a new investigation that had announced because Zelensky ran on holding people accountable and ousting corruption because Zelensky is actually progressive and would have never been able to take over, ironically enough, if Trump didn't win because the last administration, the Obama administration, used the Clinton Foundation and obviously Hillary Clinton herself to overthrow governments in the Ukraine and install the one they wanted. So Zelensky, even though he doesn't personally like Trump, obviously has to work with Trump because he understands that at, at the end of the day, sometimes when it comes to politics, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And he did, what was, he did what he believed was best for his people rather than what was most politically convenient for him at the time, which we need more of, of course. Uh, moving on, Ratcliffe, however, Ratcliffe, DNI, uh, sought to claim that Schiff was remarking the Post story. Oh, excuse me. It said that Ratcliffe, however, sought to claim that Schiff was remarking that the Post story was a result of Russian disinformation, which he says is not supported by intelligence. It's funny that some of the people that complain the most about intelligence being politicized are the ones politicizing intelligence. And unfortunately, in this case, it is Adam Schiff. Ratcliffe told Fox Business anchor Maria Bartiroma, adding that Schiff claimed Hunter Biden's laptop and emails are on it. Uh, on it are part of a Russian disinformation campaign. Let me be clear, he says. The intelligence community does not believe that because there is no intelligence that supports that. We, and we shared no intelligence with Chairman Schiff or any, of, any other member of Congress that Hunter, Hunter Biden's laptop is part 
of some disinformation campaign. Ratcliffe added. Whoa. Then Patrick Bolin, a, sp a spokesperson for Schiff, argued that the DNI is purposefully misrepresenting the chairman's words to help Trump. Okay. What? What? Is it? Is it is or is it ain't? Is it true or is it not? Did he? If, it, if he's the direct, okay, man. So like, y'all know how there's like intelligence, right? There's intelligence. <laughs> and there's, there's different, there's different, uh, uh, you know, levels of intelligence and different executive in different branches under the intelligence community. And then they have a coordinator of all that intelligence, right? They have a coordinator. And the coordinator directs how the intelligence is circulated. At least they're supposed to if they're not a puppet. Um, and we call this guy the director of national so that means all of us, all of us and the government, and the government uh, is a director of national intelligence. And the director of national intelligence is saying, we ain't give y'all shit. We ain't give you shit. So how the shit are you talking about shit that you don't know shit about? Please explain this to me. Please, please explain this. And instead of explaining it, Adam Schiff, the director, or excuse me, the, the, the head of the House of, of the Intelligence Committee, he's, he's the head of the Intelligence Committee, is telling the world that the director of national intelligence is somehow misrepresenting the literal quotes that came out of his mouth. And that he knows more as the committee head of intelligence than the motherfucker who directs the intelligence. That's what he is trying to tell us, people. Now, for some reason, I get this feeling, I get this weird feeling that Adam Schiff is probably lying to us. Call it a hunch. It's a hunch that's based on the fact that he always lies. That's, that's what that is. Why are we pretending as if this whole, sh like this is, this is a different level of suspect, bro. This is a different level of suspect. It is. I don't, I don't, <sighs> I don't know whether to laugh, I don't know whether to cry, I don't know whether to, to cuss, bro, I never have seen, okay, I'm, only, I'm only 31, so keep that in mind, um, but I've just never seen this type of blatant and yet sloppy level of propaganda in this country. Like we have a person who's supposed to be taking his directive from the leader of the intelligence community, telling the world he's lying and that the Kremlin gave the, the repairman Biden's laptop. This these stories, by the uh, hey man, just to let y'all know, I mean this is kind of like I feel like people have figured this out by now. But remember how every single like presidential election there's an October surprise, and everybody's like, damn, I wonder what the October surprise is gonna be. And people are like, man, I wish, I really wish that we had WikiLeaks out here, you know, and we had Julian Assange still, so that we can get the October surprise we de deserve. And people were like, how are we gonna get emails without Julian Assange? And I was like, hey man, I know it's gonna sound crazy, but hear me out. The universe will provide. <laughs> I said that. I said that I was like, the, the, the universe will provide. We just gotta have faith in the universe. And the universe 
doing what the universe does. Say, hey, hey, we just going like in the most random way. Have by <laughs> son, by this crackhead son, right after all of the Ukrainian, like all the Ukraine gate shit, leave his laptop at a random repair shop. Because as crazy as things can get at times, the universe provides <laughs> at the weirdest times. And I know it sounds crazy, um, you know, uh, as a as a you know off topic. Like it's just it's it's the same thing, but it's 